Looking for a home security mobile system, a way to measure clothes when shopping online, or a cool new game to download on your phone? The Israeli company Zemingo Group may be able to help you find the app of your dreams. Robert Prishku is the company's VP of Business Development, and he's here with the scoop. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So to begin, tell us about your company. What do you guys do? So um, Zemingo Group is uh, the largest mobile service house in Israel. Uh, we are a one-stop shop for developing mobile applications. Today it's more like mobile platforms. Um, and we do everything from the phase of the idea to the helping you with the market of the application after it's developed. So we take on the full cycle of the design, the development, and the marketing for mobile apps uh, for our customers. Interesting. So can you give us an example? I mean, what, what is your latest development for? So as a company, I think that we are pioneers in, um, in the field of uh, application for connected devices. We call it the field of AOT, apps of things. It's, uh, it's some kind of a subset of the IoT. Everybody knows the IoT, that almost every device today is being censored and is being connected to the web. And there is this field of taking those devices that were once dumb and turning them to smart devices. And this is our focus as a company. So, for example, we've developed things like connecting uh, security cams and uh, connecting smart glasses to apps. But we also connected uh, sensors on diapers. We also uh, turned uh, drones into drones that can be autonomous and being activated from the palm of your uh, of your hand. Um, we have turned uh, things like uh, blood pressure measurements and glucometers into smart devices that can automatically um, transform the information to the doctors using the cloud. Um, and this is our world. So what, in your yeah. opinion, what is one of the coolest apps that uh, your company has helped create so far? Okay, so one of my recent um, favorites, and also it's, it's a school because I just spoke with them on the phone and I can, I can say that uh, they're, they're now out of what's called stealth mode. Okay, so um, this is totally new. Yeah, this is totally new. So uh, there's uh, the project we've done with a very innovative startup called, they're called uh, themselves Go, 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 uh, Go Fitch. Okay. Go okay, so it's like go fetch, but it's for it's it's for fa it's for uh, fishing, and uh, the the amazing thing there is that there's this whole thing that's called uh, fishing when you're doing it away from shore. So there's no way to throw this um, the anchor into the water far away. So basically, they're using a drone, they're connecting to the drone, and using your only your mobile device without any control. You don't need to know to fly drones or everything. You just do a swipe of your finger, and it just goes into the water, throws in the the uh, the anchor to catch the fish and comes back automatically. So this is one of the things that we've done. Wow, okay, so wait, let's explain, <laughs> let's back this up for a second. So this okay. is a drone that is essentially see, seeing a certain location in the water and mm -hmm. helping you reach your line out to that specific location? Uh, exactly. So you, you're Can doing it just see the, the fish swipe. in advance? No, 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 no. It's, just, okay. it's just throwing the line because if you throw it by hand, you can only reach like 10, 20, 30 meters. So using the drone, you can get like 500 meters, but Obviously, if you're fishing, you don't want to know how to fly a drone. So wow. we, we've built the whole experience. It's not just building the app. We built the whole experience of uh, doing it with a single swipe. And that's, you know, that's part of what we consider our domain expertise because these guys came in with their, with their ideas. They knew that they had to be operated by an app. But how will this app connect? How it will interconnect? Um, it, you know, everything was done by us. What does the future hold for the Israeli technological market now that we're seeing you know, these apps that you're creating with smartphones? So it's an excellent question. Um, I think that we are only in the beginning of this revolution that we call AOT, apps of things, because most of the companies that are turning physical devices into smart devices today, um, they, they focus on their product and they are not tapping enough into the capabilities of the mobile because a mobile device is more than a remote control for your device, as most companies see it. It's, it can measure and learn everything around you, and you can use it. For example, you can, I can tell, because you have an app, I can tell where you are, what's the temperature outside, uh, what you did recently. Um, it's connected to the, to the web, so I can take everything from the web to enhance the, ex to, to, to enhance the, um, the experience of the app. Um, it's personal, so I can do a different app for men and women, children and adults. Um, it's social, so I can tell you how you're doing compared to others. Very popular with uh, with all those uh, fitness trackers. Um, 
I can communicate with the users. That's, that's a big revolution. I mean, if I, until now I was a physical product company, now I can actually communicate with the, with the users. I can segment them. I can tell you know, users from different groups and I can communicate with them individually. It's something that physical product company never had. Um, and, and I can improve because I can upload a new firmware. I can actually improve the physical device after it's left the factory. It's a revolution. Well, it looks like you guys are leading that revolution. Thank you so We're much trying. for coming in. <laughs> Thank you so much.